Electric the lamp you just turn on, it's more than computers or just TV. Electric is more than the heaters that burn on. Electric means reliability. Reliability. There can't be a flicker, a dim or a dip. The voltage must hold and there can't be a trip. Across this land from sea to sea. Electric means reliability, reliability, reliability. Reliability in cities, on farms, in homes, in factories. Throughout our country, our growth and progress is founded on the reliability of electric power and the ability of electric utilities to supply it. Reliability means that insulators must withstand electrical and mechanical stresses. Reliability means that cutouts must always interrupt fault current. Reliability means that lightning arresters must control and harness nature. It means that regulators must supply constant, correct voltage to TV sets, computers, and other sensitive electronic equipment. Reliability means that transformers must withstand heat, storms, and overvoltage, peak loads, and sustained overloads. that streets must be well lighted to be safe. That meters must register for nearly half a century with watch-like precision. At General Electric, reliability in action begins in the laboratories. Baltimore, Schenectady, Hendersonville, Summersworth, Hickory, Pittsfield, where the Power Distribution Division's New Materials and Processes Lab, a $4 million facility, is under construction. There are 81 major laboratories such as these across the country. It's here because of our knowledge of customers' operating needs and new technologies, that we tailor the molecule to provide superior materials for greater levels of reliability. Why don't we simply use insulating paper, electrical steel, enamel wire, insulating dielectrics, gaskets, and a host of other materials sold by the paper, steel, chemical, and rubber industries? Or simpler still, buy and assemble components into end products rather than develop our own materials. The business equation dictates that the paper, steel, chemical, and rubber industries invest their money, talent, and resources in the areas where there is the greatest potential for sales. Specialized materials for distribution products are a very small portion of the business for these industries. Therefore, advancement for the electric utility industry must come from a company like GE that has enough at stake that they can afford to put more dollars and more talent in specialized materials development than can the materials producers themselves. A case in point, General Electric has developed a new and different type of insulating coating for electrical steel. This product is so unique to GE that we have invested more than two and a half million dollars of risk capital to develop the process and direct in the steel mill the necessary machinery. Rearranging the molecule of paper, craft pulp, reducing the number of hydroxyl radicals in the cellulosic chain. Cyanoethylated paper that gives off 95% less water, doesn't dry up or crumble, withstands 25 to 30 degree higher temperatures and provides more reliable and longer life. After the molecules have been tailored in the lab, 
a pilot run must be made, processes and techniques must be developed jointly with the paper industry. Experiments on resins to develop a wire enamel with superior strength and temperature characteristics. The result? A stronger, tougher new enamel with 50% greater voltage breakdown strength. Withstands 30 degrees centigrade more heat. GMEL. Tailoring the molecule in paper and wire enamel has enabled GE to reduce the weight since 1959 of 25 kVA transformers from 495 pounds to 282 pounds in the new seal pack transformer. To further improve distribution equipment, General Electric maintains complete control of steel processes, both in the steel mill and in the GE labs, to regulate the concentration of minor ingredients in steel, such as carbon, sulfur, and nitrogen and also to optimize annealing cycles and temperatures to produce the best grain or crystal sizes in finished steel, with an eye to providing lower losses and longer life. The development of a non-tracking butyl rubber insulation called Hybute 60 at Summersworth helps make feasible new types of molded instrument transformers which eliminate electrical tracking, porcelain breakage, corrosion, and oil hazards. Durabute, another version of this non-tracking rubber, made feasible a smaller, more durable open cutout. From these discoveries in the synthetic rubber field came the development of polymer insulators. Able to withstand unbelievable abuse, yet one-third the weight of a ceramic equivalent. The G-Pole polymer insulator, with its track resistance, would provide the ideal replacement for porcelain insulators. these applications from a single invention, a result of the close liaison among the 81 laboratories. New materials are being developed to eliminate gassing and vacuum marks, making possible new types of vacuum switches for the distribution system. Research is also being conducted on new and more sophisticated contact alloys for voltage regulators. Magnified a million or so times, the fibers in capacitor paper might look like this. But no matter how carefully the fibers are arranged, the end product will still have irregularities. The new Slimvar capacitor 400 contains a synthetic film containing no voids. And tests prove that the new film has one-tenth the faults at 10 times the voltage for capacitor paper. Development of materials is only the initial phase of research. It is necessary to test them, to find their limitations and breaking points, physically, chemically, electrically, and thermally, so that they will continue to function reliably for 30 to 40 years. In liquid-filled equipment, such as transformers and regulators, all materials and systems are rigidly tested for compatibility with oil. If they fail, they're rejected regardless of other superior characteristics. Ultimately, all materials are tested in prototype. Invaluable data is obtained from observing the interior functioning of products simulated in miniature. Full-scale and miniature models are subjected to final proof testing and accelerated life testing. From basic research to early production stages, materials testing continues an integral part of total reliability in action. Reliable products must have good design, built for long life with a good looking line. Good design, you'll all agree, is basic to reliability. The design of a product is an amalgamation of a need and an idea. A partnership between the customer, the development engineer, and the design engineer. Utilizing experiences drawn from the past and computers to project the future, the design engineer must design reliability into the product. He must also continually think about integrated product design and answer many questions. 
Should he combine functions and systems concepts into the new product? Should he pre-wire and pre-assemble units? It is here that basic work and research starts to become the concrete reality. At this point, the manufacturing engineers take the design and gear production for total quality. GE offers modern plants, equipment, techniques, and controlled processes, skilled technicians, and a powerful pride of workmanship that builds quality into the product. At Hendersonville, numerous giant precision die-casting machines assure uniform, yet rugged luminaires. At Baltimore, a new kill, the largest in the world, produces porcelain insulators up to 18 feet in height in one piece. Watt-hour meters, mass-produced, yet subjected to meticulous scrutiny during every stage of assembly. Meters produced today will still be adding up dollars at the end of the distribution line in the year 2000. In all products, quality is verified by continuing in-process testing, quality audits, and certifications. All meters are tested for accuracy, then examined once again by certified inspectors, so that 99.9% .9 of all meters shipped are free from defects. Electrical checks, such as the automatic carousel test for transformers, assures design performance. Ratio, polarity, losses, impedance, circuit breaker operation, all are verified. High voltage tests at impulse and power frequencies assures integrity of the complete insulation system. This flashover test, occurring at the rate of 200,000 cycles per second, at voltages well above levels the insulator sees in normal service, seeks out imperfections before shipping. Since 90% of all distribution arrestor failures have been the result of broken seals, GE engineers have concentrated their efforts on improving sealing materials and methods for magna valve arresters. Specially treated butyl for the gaskets provided the answer. The load fraction test determines the strength and durability of the gasket. From each batch of porcelain housings, random samples are inspected for hairline cracks by means of the Zyglo test. And finally, in a unique test under vacuum, each unit is checked for tightness. The result is the best service record in the distribution arrestor business. Approximately two and a half million in service since 1953, with a failure record of less than one in every 2,600 units. Diodes used in the new static controls for ML32 voltage regulators are tested in this specially designed temperature chamber. Characteristics of each individual diode are determined to allow for maximum regulator accuracy at all operating temperatures. of voltage level, band width, and time delays are accurately set through an automatic testing console. In the voltage regulator lab, vibrations, acoustical sounds, and other mechanical signals are recorded for regulators which are intentionally made to operate improperly. These records are compared to a factory standard in a scientific technique of mechanical signature analysis similar to an electrocardiogram to assure reliability by catching troubled areas before they develop. This chart represents the total manufacturing process for distribution transformers. 
the many inspection points and in-process tests, indicates the care and scrutiny a transformer is subjected to, culminating here in the final quality audit. Random samples of finished stock are disassembled and rechecked for such characteristics as tightness, alignment, location, finish, and correctness. Although all parts have been inspected and test operated, the total quality audit provides a most effective measure of quality control. This is part of total system reliability. Reliability in action at GE also reaches into the warehouse where jet stream service provides overnight delivery to almost any destination in the country. Every warehouse serves as a reservoir of products on standby for individual outages or major catastrophes. But beyond actual products, GE's distribution systems engineering group and field application engineers are a major factor in implementing the concept of total system reliability. This team is available to electric utilities to work hand in hand with utility engineers to work out their specific systems protection needs and problems, to share their skills and experiences with all customers concerned with system protection and system problems which affect reliability. Through intensive system studies, they've acquired a vast storehouse of knowledge and information that has, time after time, proven to be of immeasurable value to the customer. Utilizing this knowledge and computer techniques, they can evaluate hundreds of possible combinations to help the customer select the best system configuration. GE service is also extended through its 600 service engineers and more than 50 service shops that are available for help at all hours and for all types of catastrophes. A product is more than the metals that form it. A system is more than it seems to be. It takes people's hands and their hearts to perform it. Only people make reliability. More than anything else, reliability in action is people. People investing capital in laboratories, in factories, in warehouses, in service shops. People with talent, ideas, concepts, and know-how. Tailoring the molecule, forging materials and machines, mines and manpower, all for a single purpose, for reliability in action. Electric is more than the lamp you just turn on. It's more than computers or just TV. Electric is more than the heaters that burn on. Electric means reliability. Reliability.